the one that hits me was the fact that he says that whiskey is not 27 guys the next one he now said that it's very heavy for me to understand or even believe is that whiskey is actually broke how Hi guys welcome back to my channel how you doing what's been happening so this conversation today's video is a very serious topic very controversial see yeah let me not even lie i've been moving up and down should i do this video should i not do this video but i will do this video because one nobody well a lot of people haven't heard this gist which i'm like ah, are you guys are you guys in the because because i mean this gist has been flying up and down one two i'm a lady I need to air my own view and Siri, I want to know how you think about it because it is important that we I even know you know how people think about this whole matter. I was talking about Whiskey and his baby drama, but more importantly about what Osage has to say to Whiskey. So Osage is well he hasn't really been confirmed but i kind of think he's the owner of paul's ng after the whole biscuit thing he went on, on a, a podcast and he just blasted biscuit ah one hour guys one hour and two minutes literally he was just blasting biscuit so i'm like you know what i'm going to just listen to it hear everything he has to see and come and tell you about it so today we're discussing whiskey he's giving mama drama and osagi's opinion about the whole thing if i even talk uh, uh, really if you're not subscribed to this channel my name is omi and this is talk to your homie tv we give just everything you need to know about the entertainment space we talk about it here so please please click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up because you're going to love this video it is important for us to understand that you know one-sided story is never complete it's never complete it's always best to hear from both parties you get me it's always best to hear from both parties before you judge but i mean whiskey is obviously not going to talk about this topic and uh, his baby mama has uh, in fact it just felt like when she dropped her because okay so let me not even let me just break it down from the beginning so um shola is her name shola got pregnant for whiskey at age 20 guys 20 this is how many years 2011 2018 seven years after the child is seven years and weeks ago yeah she went on instagram and just poured out her heart she even shared some messages between them both in 2016 the girl this is like her just saying you know what i'm done in fact she was saying by saying i've been considering you and your career and thing i've not tried to bring you down but today i'm going to say it the way it is so this is like her saying you know what i don't care about you anymore i'm done and she wrote epistle upon epistle long story i promise you so what i did was i extracted the important thing from those epistles and i took important things from osagi osagi's own was ah man in fact half of the things i said i'm like ah if you know anything about whiskey here yeah, go to the comment section and tell me if everything i'm going to say now is true or a lie now that we have finished the intros let's have this conversation guys so according to shola yeah um she literally got pregnant for whiskey at age 19 and when she told whiskey about it he just said no his daughter is child is a lie it's not true he and his family asked her to do a dna to confirm that the baby is his baby he did a dna and of course it was 99 percent 99.9 actually percent positive that it was his child so she gave us the baby just after uni so she had to postpone like nyc for a year fast forward after nyc she got a job you know but i mean this kid was not helping her out with like a financial thing she got a job on the island her parents lived on the mainland so she stayed with them on the mainland and walked on the island and it was very like i mean everybody who lives in lagos knows how stressful that is so she saved that money and contacted this kid and said you know what i have a job now i have small money can you kindly add little money for me to just get a car to make mobility easy but i mean he's like no i'm not going to do that if you knew that life was going to be hard but you get pregnant and give birth in the first place so please handle your business yourself and then she says that she doesn't understand how or she didn't understand how he would not give her money for the child unless she begs and begs but he would easily and quickly give her clothes and shoes for the child so she finally figured out that he would give her those clothes because he went to show on instagram that you know what i'm taking care of my child but when it comes to money to take care of the child he would not give her easy then the one that hit or broke my own camel's back was that uh, she got a modeling contract for the baby, uh, a banking contract for TV and billboard worth 
three million naira. Yeah, what three million naira? And then she told him, I got a baby in modeling contract, and they're gonna pay him three million naira. Obviously, was like, eh, eh, no, 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 no. And he already has like better contract, better deals, higher pay for the baby. And he thinks that if he goes on to do that one that she got for him, it might jeopardize his chances of doing this one. And then he now goes and says that if she insists on going through the modeling contract here, the money that they pay her will be the money that she has to use to train him all through and her thinking that uh, she doesn't want not to be getting money from this kid because i mean he's it is his son and it is her son so she bounced it she did not do the modeling contract but this kid never came through with the contract at all and then for seven years this kid had never been present at all for any of the child's birthday party seven years and then when she now put the birthday party pictures on instagram or social media really and um, he would tell her no 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 don't put the pictures there what is this i want i, I want him to have a private life a very secured life but he will go ahead and put zion's um, picture on instagram so she's like is it that you don't want my one child to have um, a public life like you know but you don't mind Zion having a public life like I don't understand the whole disparity that's her own view then Osage now Osage revealed things about this kid you see well I'm not sure they are true that's why I want you if you know this kid tell me if they are true okay let me tell you what Osage, Osage said Osage first of all is extremely angry that whiskey in fact he says this kid is irresponsible he called this kid all sorts of names First, the Osaki is blaming Two Face because he feels that Two Face was the one that introduced other musicians to the life of having baby mamas outside, which might be true. Because I mean, after Two Face started, everybody just started doing it like he was a normal thing. Yeah, he believes that. How is it possible that a father, according to what she said, a father had not seen his child all through seven years for up to? 10 times like 10 times this kid your seven year old son this is your first child like no matter how angry you are with like the mother yeah the child should not bear the consequences of the father and the mother it's just unfair for the child but let's continue to sagi he then called this kid highly insecure he said this kid swindled his managers slapped one of his managers impregnated the other one in london that he does drugs it's not just like a normal joke he sniffs something i'm trying not to say the words because of youtube but like he says this kid is steady steady on drugs he says this kid is highly insecure about david which and he's very scared of david o's presence in the music industry because david o is privileged he has a rich father and because of this kid's beef with david o uh one could not feature in david o's first album because of this kid he said this kid does not have any day one Everybody he said he signed, he did not sign them. Uh, the Mr. Easy, they don't all have contracts. Um, he says he pities Banky W because I mean Banky W raised Whiskey and the other guy. This other guy, I kind of know who the person is, but in his words, the other guy. And then sadly, um, Whiskey is a is feeling in his father in his fatherhood um, abilities or yeah abilities yeah. And then the other person is deeply on drugs he says that is how unfair is it that after banky raised whiskey whiskey could never go for banky's wedding even banky's um album launch whiskey went there for like when they late and stayed for like 30 minutes and left like how disrespectful in fact the one that hit me was the fact that he says that whiskey is not 27 guys he says that whiskey that ame reduced whiskey's age because they wanted him to be appealing to the younger audience so when he like that whole your boy that of course that wasn't his age oh i mean this kid is in his 30s this guy went in on this kid then the next one is that he put the McCrane and um, Mehdi in the house and then drugged them so much so that well intoxicated them oh man you need to use the right words i don't know what youtube's gonna flag but intoxicated them so much so that they were very very like intoxicated and then um, he now played a beat and then they started jumping on it and when they finished singing yeah he just got them home we used that song and now did a, a record so when the McQueen was crying that babala you know that uh, no, 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 babala uh -huh. and people was like that was his song that was really his song because that was what whiskey did everything is osagi i don't know this is what he's saying next is whiskey did not sign lax because he's a good artist no now because lax's father is a very wealthy man he's the owner of square motors uh -huh. that is why whiskey sang LAX. and then when he did two songs he just dropped lax like he uh, used tissue and he moved on and you know one dance that one with whiskey and um drake here yeah? mm -hmm. so it was sad that produced the beat but whiskey scam stars uh put his name as the producer of the song because he's whiskey and that's what he does and that's what he now said that it's very heavy for me to understand or even believe is that whiskey is actually broke how how 
Who is whiskey broke? <laughs> Listen, we has fact. This is a whiskey is so in fact to him. Every time the girl asks whiskey for money, he did not give her because he doesn't have. Because he says that whiskey's lifestyle, you know, the intoxication is very expensive that when he gets money that's the first thing he uses money to do and when you spend money in such a thing here yeah, you don't have money to live your life he never goes and says that somebody and he knows the person but he didn't mention the name somebody gave this kid one million dollars to go and um, shoot or finish the music and shoot videos uh, with ty dollar sign and chris brown and you know all that international acts so this kid went to uh, the us rented a lamborghini went to start buying dresses and shoes Went to rent a big mansion and you know, started to live in life just to show Instagram that you know he's popping, he's leaving, he's lounging, he's staying. And then when the money finished, he did not have any song to show for it, he didn't have any music video to show for it. This guy has a lot of say to him. Well, according to him, Whiskey cannot use his name to sing song because on that Whiskey, he has a contract that he doesn't want to fulfill. So right now, he's been using Starboy again. It says that Whiskey gave his baby, um, as this baby, your last child, a small Starboy chain. And after some years, he took the chain from the baby. Like, how low can you go? But the one that hit me, the one that broke everybody's camel back was uh, the situation between Tiwa and Whiskey and Tibio. So according to him, what is good? What is right? What is the big man thing to do? Is that, you know, Whiskey will say, you know what? I mean, this is Tiwa. Hold Tiwa's hand. Yes, it is me and Tiwa that are running things right now. I'm doing here, you know, I mean, we're running things right now. We are guys, it's okay. But no, Whiskey will carry Tiwa in the corner. Do not think with Tiwa in the corner and will never come up like up front to say, this is me who's doing it guys see so yeah, in all sincerity this guy has a lot of things to say to whiskey but in all he says i mean he was the one that broke the story about whiskey and um, shola getting pregnant but when i shall get the pregnant of this kid and he says he's extremely sorry for breaking the story because you can imagine what shola's life has been since the baby and he goes that if you are not ready to have a child strap up ah i forgot this one let me tell you guys this one he now goes to ah man Okay, guys, he said Whiskey saw a picture of his son and he now said, ah, This my boy is looking like his girl. And Whiskey now carries his son. And like when he this girl was in the house here, yeah, when like his female friends were around, this kid now had this son. The son was like, how, well, I think four years, but I mean, it wouldn't be seven years. Such girls' private, you know, body, they are bored, they are ah, this one up here, down up, and it's like, at what age? Ah, to now crown it all up, guys. Uh, when the son left this kid's house back to the mom, the mom's house here, yeah, and um, the mom opened the son's bag and saw Crusher. If you know what Crusher is, I'm sorry, just know. Uh -huh. Saw Crusher in the son's bag, a child of how old? Imagine what you're exposing this guy to. See. You know what, what I think what I think would be right is Whiskey for a while has not come to come and address this thing at all. And I think it's unfair. I think it's unfair to your fans. I know that your fans really love you. I really like Whiskey, but this is something this, this this is important. Your the mother of your child is has come, has broken like, down in front on social media. She's literally hurting. You know the best you can do is apologize, Whiskey. I'm, I'm, this is my own opinion because you cannot move on after nothing happened. Something happened, my dear. You're either going to deny it with fact, or you're going to just say I'm sorry. I'll do better. Something as easy as that would have just made everything. You can't just be quiet, still drop music, and think that everything is is it it nah. As your fan, I don't accept it. I don't. I I don't think it's right at all. I, I think it's unfair. One. Two, so, I think that Whiskey should understand that this thing is not is hurting the child. Do you know the kind of idea this baby at seven years old will have about family, will have about father and mother, will have about life? How you have a seven year old baby touch people's body, lady's body that older than him? What are you rearing? What are you? Nah, that's just wrong on all sides. Why are you not seeing your say, ladies, my darling ladies? Can we just try not to be tempted? Can we understand that when the baby comes to this world, 
even though the guy claims the baby that, that, that it's our bodies that will change one um, it is us that has to pause I mean you cannot you had all the goal and career and thing I mean you have to pause for a while to gather yourself and think right do you understand can we just not just put ourselves in that box it's just unfair to us I promise you it is two and then yeah ah oh, man I'm trying hard not to come out on Wizkid but I'm just gonna I don't know how busy Wizkid is but no matter how busy, I even thought the baby was not in Nigeria. She said, yeah, he's in Nigeria. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Even if it means, okay, you don't want to see the baby, I'll be the woman, I understand. Carry the baby. Let her be around the corner. Go to, there are, there are places, there are places in Lekki that you can have fun. If she lives in the mainland, the mainland is trash. I get you. Bring the baby to the island and play with your child. Must you put your child in places where he has to have crusher in his bag that's unfair i don't know how you grew up but i'm guessing you did not grow up in that kind of situation if you did then maybe you excuse because you don't understand what it is to grow up in a proper home and family and mindset but if you did not grow up in that kind of situation and you're putting your child in that situation you're very unfair because because that baby is going to grow up and just be a man just imagine the the person you're you're you're, you're building him up to be guys you know what? I'm going to leave it here. What do you think? What do you even think? Whiskey has not given his opinion or his version of the story, so nobody's really, really sure. But what do you guys think? Do you think Whiskey is right or wrong? Hmm. Do you think Shola is right or wrong too? Do you think she was... What do you think? Do you think is... Please, and please don't say it's for attention, because I... Please, eh? Just listen to everything again that I just said, yeah? And tell me what you sincerely think. Do you think Osage went too far? I think he might... I think he's a very expressive person. I think he was very angry, but I think that a lot of things he said were just too much. I mean, he said to read social media comments and he said to insult people. That was extra. He did not have to do all that. I think that was just too much. But what do you guys think? Don't insult anybody, I beg you. Be cordial, be clean. No dirty insult. But let's go to the comment section. Let's discuss. I want to hear. And if you know Whiskey personally, please go there correct impressions state facts but let us know what the situation is is shall i wrong is whiskey wrong i don't know i'm not my usual self in this video because this video is deep and yeah comment section is going to be gaga i told you we're going to discuss i'm, I'm going to be there i want to hear what you have to say and that's all i have talked about in this video if you like this video please don't do all give me the thumbs up and i beg you please and please and please subscribe to my channel i want subscribers it's important in my life please yeah thank you so much for watching i love you you know i love you abby bye bye